This interview first appeared in the March 2015 issue of Offbeat magazine. John Waters has achieved the rare sort of sustained celebrity that imbues his name with an aura of recognition, no matter who you are. After five decades in the public eye, the filmmaker turned counterculture icon has earned every bit of fame that has come his way. Waters has lived a life full of so many twists, turns and twisted mashups that it seems at times that his creations are circling back to devour themselves. Take his mainstream breakthrough Hairspray, for example. Released as a major motion picture in 1988, the film's bountiful and beautiful eccentricities earned it a cult following throughout the 1990s. In 2002, it was adapted into a Broadway play, earning a Best Musical Tony Award, along with a slew of other honors, which lead directly to a 2007 big screen adaption of the play. What other filmmaker can claim that sort of sustained and varied success? The movie to musical to musical movie adaptation cycle is all the more remarkable given that Waters has spent his career celebrating odd, marginalized, outcast and gloriously misfit characters and actors. Waters has never shied away from those that society has traditionally rejected, from drag queens to convicted criminals and adult movie stars. It may come as no surprise that Waters has deep connections to New Orleans, a city that has been known for its bohemian culture for almost 300 years.